Hey guys, it's Chris. Um, okay, coming to you again with the third video. I'm sorry for my disheveled appearance, guys. I just woke up a little while ago. Feeling under the weather, of course, I just got over having a flu bug, and now stomach thing, and now my nose and my throat are killing me. And I just started taking vitamin C and vitamin D, the B vitamin, so I don't know what the deal is. I started getting sick after I started taking the vitamins. Like, okay. That makes sense. Um, anyway, so I'm coming to you today with, um, oh, and as usual, my disclaimer, or my whatever, if you guys like my channel, please subscribe, because after the new year, also, I will be doing a, um, a giveaway. Um, I haven't quite decided what it's going to be yet. You guys know me. It's, it's not going to be as big as my, you know, you know, what Chris likes video or all about Chris's things video or whatever, um, the Sarah Baker one, but you can ask Sarah if you're a member, if you have, if you're, if you're on her channel, um, you can watch the video and see how huge <laughs> this giveaway was. Uh, I'm going to be doing another one. It's not going to be that huge, but it's probably going to be like half as huge and that's still huge. So, um, if you get a chance, watch her giveaway, um, giveaway winning because, I'm going to be doing something like that um, after the new year. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet. i got to put my thinking cap on. But anyway, so subscribe to my channel. And um, once you subscribe, there's a little gear. Hit the gear, and it'll say email me new uploaded videos. That way you guys won't miss out on the giveaway, and you guys won't miss out on any of my videos if you like them. You know, and and... You don't, like, what I like about that option, too, is I get all my, for the people that I subscribe to that I love, I get their, you know, oh, so-and-so uploaded a video, and you can look at it and decide, oh, okay, I want to watch that one, or, nah, that's not really up my alley, like, whatever, I don't really want to, I don't really care about that one, but anyway, um, so today I'm doing a de-stash video, not de-stashing, but a de-stash that I received, um, from, um, Christy Hartshorn, or Hartshorn, I'm sorry, Christy Hartshorn. I always murder names. Um, this was Along Came Primitives, and I will post the vendor information below like I always do. Um, um, the owner is Cindy Marquette. She's not open right now due to medical reasons, um, but I love Along Came Primitive. LCP, love, 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 love. Like, one of my top vendors. Love them. So, <clears throat> and I didn't have... A whole lot of them. In fact, I think I only have like a little square. I have my some of my bins. I because I refuse to buy more towers. Um, and the towers are like the stair, you know, the big sterilite towers with like seven drawers in them. Because I refuse to buy more at the old place before I had my wax room, and my wax room is a mess right now, guys. So there won't be a video anytime soon on my wax room. I know you guys are waiting to see it. Um, uh, I gotta go through. I gotta organize everything. I have to cut up chunks, I have to cut up loaves, repackage, there's so much stuff I have to do, um, but I will, um, I will be doing the whole video, and I will be doing the video of the whole house, too, it's just been, it's been crazy, like, I thought moving was hard, I think unpacking and everything is even harder, I don't know, but getting settled, I think, is even harder, I mean, at least you can, you know, you can take your time getting settled, but it just seems like nothing gets done, like, I look at these boxes here, and I go, Ugh. Like, I just don't want to deal with it. Okay, anyway, so she put up an LCP um, D stash, and I jumped on it. Now I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, it was a, it was a it was a decent price. It was you know it wasn't. I never if I buy a D stash, guys, it's not going to be. I don't care how much I love the vendor, it's not going to be like, over $100, it's not going to be, um, you know, and I know sometimes there, it's warranted to be over, oh, I'm such a mess, I'm sorry, and sometimes it's warranted to be over $100, you know what I mean, like, I've had boxes that are, like, you know, huge, tons of wax, tons and tons of wax, I, I can't be really bothered with these sessions, so that's why, after the first of the year, also, I'm going to be doing a lot of random acts of kindness, a lot, um, a ton. I really am. It's going to be crazy because I have so many boxes right now in my wax room. I have boxes in storage. <laughs> so, and now I'm accumulating boxes in my wax room. So, it's getting crazy. Um, I asked for a label maple for Christmas. Well, I put a little hint, a little hinty hint on my Facebook page. Um, I don't know if the boyfriend got it or not, but um, that was my little hinty hint. 
Um, he has a label maker, but he uses it for work. So I'd rather just have my own. So like during the day, I can just kind of, you know, go at my own pace or whatever. So anyway, um, she posted a long claim primitive, and I just jumped on it. I jumped on this. There was a Beezies and there was a CBB, and I've already done the videos for the Beezies and the CBB. Um, but long claim primitives, I love. I really do. I love them. I love them. So. Cindy's not open right now. So this made it extra special. Um, so this is white chocolate and coconut tart melt. And these, what I'm noticing, she gave me bags and bags of stuff. For some reason, what are these? They're huge. Holy crap. Okay. So, but it's white chocolate and tea. White chocolate and coconut tart melt. Now, I'm not a big white chocolate fan. Now, I've never actually, like, smelled white chocolate wax, but I'm not a uh, white chocolate. Oh, these are, these are freaking huge, you guys. And, and, and the bag does look a little grubby, but these are cookies. Look at these things. They're the size of my hand. Oh, my God. And this smelled freaking amazing. And I know with LCP, you could just put in, like, a little, and there's two of these. And then there's some, like, crumbles on the bottom. Um, so this looks like it came in, like, maybe a four-pack or something. These things were huge. Oh, my God. And I love the smell. Love it. It doesn't smell like white chocolate to me. It smells like, like regular chocolate. I really like it. I like it a lot. I don't necessarily get the coconut, but, again, my, um, my what you call it. My sniffer today is a little, it's a little stuffy. I got a stuffy sniffer. So, so nice. Um, so I have, like I said, I, as I was saying, I forgot. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I got off track. Is that so? My lawn came primitive is like in a quarter bin. Like so, I actually had Marin like um fix my bin so some of them are, are cut in half so for vendors that I don't have a whole lot of and then there's for vendors that I have like a teeny little bit of it's cut in quarters well now I have to make a whole new long hand primitive um, um, drawer and I do have a couple drawers left so because she gave me bags of stuff bags um this is a one two three four six pack of grubbies and I always individually pack these so I, this is what I'm saying when I have to redo my wax room and redo I'm gonna have to print out labels and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna repackage everything singly um I like to do that for round robins um and giveaways and stuff like that so that's what I will be doing so I will probably keep I don't know like three for myself and then you know give away the other three um put them in my giveaway box but this is glazed, jelly glazed donut. Um, her bakery scents are just amazing. I hate ribbon. I know I say this all the time. I hate it. I always end up having to cut it. Because I tie it into a knot. Which I just did, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't. Oh, old glaze. Maybe I didn't tie it into a knot. Maybe I just think, no, I didn't. I just think I tied it into a knot. I can't stand ribbon. Oh, now I think I knotted it. No, I didn't. Hate it! Can't stand it. Um, but this is in Jelly Glazed Donut. Now, I was kind of expecting, now I did see the picture, but like I said, I was sick. I've been sick. This smells just like jelly donuts. Oh, this is so good. Oh my god. So, like I said, I. When I get stuff like this, there's always extras, there's always giveaways. So, um, I will be doing another giveaway. I think I just said that, right? I can't remember which video I said it in. But I will be doing another giveaway in um, after the first year. So you guys will be getting some LCP. 
I don't know what the giveaway is going to be yet. I don't know what the contest is going to be yet, but this is a six, no, two, three, yep, six pack of grubbies in kettle corn. Love this scent. Now, this is a scent that I could hoard. I really could hoard this scent. I love it so much. Um, but I won't, because that's, I, I, it's just not what I do. Um, so again, I'll probably keep three of these. This is so amazing. I love kettle corn. This is just nice and buttery and, and sweet. This is really good. This kind of smells more like a buttery popcorn than a kettle corn, but I don't care because it's amazing. I love popcorn, so period. I just, I love popcorn. And like I said, Long Came Primitive is just amazing. It really is. Cindy's stuff is just to die for. So, because I didn't have a whole bunch, and because um, she was closed, I was like, I saw this D stash, and I was like, okay. You know, I'm going for it. This is a one, two, three, four pack in strawberry rhubarb lemon zucchini bread. I really like strawberry rhubarb scents. I, I mean, I love anything lemon. Come on, focus. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, take my word for it. Um, zucchini bread is not my favorite, but I've, I've learned that when it's mixed with certain things, it's amazing. Like, I just, oh my god, I love it. Now, this is really nice. Um... I'm mostly getting the strawberry rhubarb. I'm not really smelling a lot of lemon. I mean, I can catch a hint here and there, and the zucchini bread is definitely overpowered by the fruit. But it smells really, really good. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I'm going to have to start repackaging and... I'm trying to think of what day I don't have TV. You know what's really weird about TV these days, guys? Like this, like like these last couple weeks is like everyone's going on like a two-week mid-season hiatus or something to that effect, and then you get um so then you have all this TV, and then all of a sudden it's like, what are they going to be playing? Because everyone's going on these mid-season finale breaks or whatever. Like last night was supposed to be the originals, it wasn't on. Um, I ended up watching Biden and Clyde, which I thought sucked. I'm going to be honest. I thought it sucked. It was so slow. I'm hoping, well, tonight, I was like, I'm hoping tonight's episode, we're DVRing it, um, but we're, we watch, we're watching the season finale. I believe it's on. So Sons of Anarchy season finale is on, I believe. Oh. Ugh. But um, it's so funny because they all go, and it's like, then you're like, well, what's going to be on television? Like, but he's going on these hiatuses, like, what's going to be on now? I don't know. Um, here's a six-pack in orange caramel zucchini bread. And Cindy has, long came primitive, Cindy has a ton of zucchini bread stuff. Um, just a ton. She really does. Um, so if you like zucchini bread, long came primitive is... the way to go. Oh, this smells really good. I really, really like this one. This has a nice zing to the orange. I don't know if I smell caramel so much. A lot of these also is like cold sniff. You, you know if you like it or not. Like if there was pine in this, I would know. No, I can't do it. Or if it was very cinnamony, I'd know. No, I can't do it. I like her zucchini blends because they're not spicy. They're nice and sweet. This is really nice. It's kind of hard to describe. I'm not getting a lot of caramel, and I'm not getting a lot of... Well, I'm getting something, obviously. I mean, it's not just straight-up orange. Just this whole mix is really nice. But I'm not getting, like, the... She blends really, really well. That's what I'm going to say, is that I'm not getting... 
uh, how do I describe it? I'm not getting a ton of, like, one scent or the other. And they're just mixed very, very well. So it comes up with a, with a fragrance all its own. Oh my god, this box is in chock full. Um, another six pack in Lemon Coconut Blue Ribbon Cookie. Now, Blue Ribbon Cookie is one of her scents. I don't know if I got, I think I got this in a scoopable. I tested a scoopable for her and did a video. Um, when she her scoops and scents, or scoop your scent, or whatever, when she scoops and scents, I think it is. Um, when she first came out with her scoopables, and they are to die for. And this is, I think, the, the fragrance that I got with lemon coconut blue ribbon cookie. Her blue ribbon cookie mixes are amazing. I I'm not a huge usually cookie fan because it's usually mixed with sugar cookie, which normally to me for most vendors, um, just dumbs down the scent of the other stuff, like say it's strawberry, or in this case, like lemon coconut, like it's just going to dumb down the scent, and you're not going to get really much of anything, um, but her blend, her blue ribbon cookie is just amazing, and this is lemon coconut, I definitely smell the lemon, I can smell the cookie. I don't know if I smell the coconut so much. Coconut is super hard, guys. It's I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But, mmm. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's so good. I can't wait to share some of this with you guys. I can't I can't wait till after the first one I have my contest. I don't know what it is going to be yet, guys. Um... The last one was really huge, and it was, if you guys, you know, were a part of it, it was, you know, tell me a secret, you know, like, I want to, I want to know when you, one of your deepest, darkest secrets, and I wasn't, like, too strict, I mean, people didn't have to get really personal about it, you know what I mean, but it was really fun of reading everybody's secret, it was really, really cool, um, I don't know, and then I did a random.org, and I don't know what it's going to be this time, um, it may not even be that in-depth, but here is a three-pack Toasted Marshmallow Coconut Blue Ribbon Cookie. So again, oh my god, I'm getting so many good scents here. And I do believe Christy did put all the scents, but no, oh, this one's going to be tough. This one looks like it was never opened. Because it's... Oh, there we go. I got it. The ribbons are working for me today. Thank God. This is so good. This is just like, it's a toasted marshmallow, coconut, blue ribbon cookie, but to me, this might have been the one that I tested. It's just a nice buttery cookie smell. Like, it's just a buttery bakery awesomeness. I can smell the coconut. I'm like, I'm not going to, I can smell it. It's just really light. And toasted marshmallow to me is just always sort of uh, like a mixer scent. Like if you get it, great. If you don't, you know, that's okay too. But her blue ribbon cookies and are just to die for. Um, my son had a 90-minute delay, by the way, today, guys, here in Connecticut, um, which I actually thought was pretty funny, because I, when I went outside at noon to pick up these packages, there was nothing. I, well, I shouldn't say it. There was a little slush on the ground, but that was about it. I was like, really, people, 90-minute delay? Like, we haven't even, winter hasn't even started yet here in Connecticut. Well, it hasn't started anywhere. <laughs> here, in, here in Connecticut, it hasn't started but I know some of you guys are getting a lot more wintry stuff than we are. Oh, these are super cute. These are one, two, three, four, five. These is a five pack of these are grubbies, but they have like a little star on top. Um this wax is so is very soft, guys, so I'm not gonna take it out. I don't know if you can see. You're probably not gonna be able to because there's polka dots on the top. Can you see that star right there? Right there. Isn't that cute? So, it's like little grubbies, but they have white stars on top. This is in Raspberry Cobbler. I know I'm going to love this one. I love fruity, fruity, 
Fruity Bakery, I love. Like, like, Spicy Bakery, I can't stand. But Fruity Bakery, I love. Oh, these are so cute. I gotta pull one out. It's, they're so cute. It's super soft, but... Isn't that cute? It's a little pie. So adorable. Oh, and it's so good. These things are hard to repackage, but I'm gonna do it, because... So if you get any Long King Primitives... Mm, this one's just like rats, like fresh-picked raspberries. I don't know if I get the cobbler so much. I don't know what's supposed to be in co like cobblers normally like that crunchy, um, you know, brown sugar kind of mix. To me, this just smells like fresh picked raspberries, fresh at the peak of goodness. Um, so good. But if you guys get any lawn cane primitive in, you know, round robins or de stashes or swaps or whatever. Don't be too concerned, guys, if they're a little mushy, because it's just the, the nature of the wax. It's, it's softer wax. So, um, oh my god, there's so much here. Christy, this is insane. I got brown sugar pecan. Love pecan. Love it. And this one came in a nice little, look at the autumn bag. I love, 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 love. Um, during the season, like seasonal, seasonal time, I normally don't order. I'll order D stashes. Um, just because I can still get, I can get non-seasonal scents, whereas a lot of the vendors, that's all they're giving away for samplers and all that stuff is seasonal stuff, and I don't, I don't really do seasonal stuff. That's what this is to die for. Pecan to me is what, or praline, praline, pecan, um, they, it smells caramel to me. And I love it. One of my all time favorite scents. This is brown sugar pecan, but it smells very like ooey gooey caramel to me. It's, oh my god, it's so good. So good, so good, so good. Um, sorry, somebody just messaged me. Um, let me see here. I'm sorry, this is taking me a little longer, guys, because I have to wrap these things back up. But, like, normally I wouldn't, but I, I'm not going to be able to get to. Oh, my God, there's so much here. Okay, great funnel cake. This looks like six. One, two, three. Actually, there's four in here. This one was open. So Christy must have had some for herself, which is awesomeness. But it looks like she orders in bulk. So she probably is just like, I have so much, I can't, I can't deal with it. You know, I wish that was my problem with long cane. Well, it is now with long cane primitives. But like I said, it won't be when I get done repackaging. So great funnel cake. This is really good. It it smells like grape. I mean, obviously. It's really good grape smell though. Um The funnel cake, like funnel cake to me can be weird. Some people's funnel cake is really spicy and I don't like it. This is nice. It just kind of puts a little bit of bakery hint into that grape. Um but it's not spicy. It's really, really, really good. And it's one, two, three, yeah, four. So what I'll probably do is keep two for myself. Like I said, put and put two, um, package two up. Or I don't know if I'm going to do two packs or if I'm going to do individuals. Um, I tend to like to do individuals just because then more people can try, especially when I do the random act of kindness. Um, this is a two pack. Oh, this one doesn't have a thingy on it, but this is a two-pack in Fruit Crush. These are probably melt tonight. Just, oops. But they're not. I'm having, Chris is having difficulties. Oh, when is she not? These I will probably melt tonight just because they're not, there's no twist tie or anything on them. But this is a two-pack of Grubby in Fruit Crush. This is really good. I, I looked up um, Lawn Team Primitive to see if I could find... Um, I 
control F. I was just reading someone's. Okay, juicy strawberries, banana, I, I, a kai berry, fresh squeezed orange with hints of cher sweet cherries, kiwi, and sugar crystals. Now, normally anything with sweet with cherry, I hate it. This is really good. This is mostly the, the strawberry. Um, don't know if I get the orange or the banana. It's kind of hard when it, when it has that many scents in it, but it's really good. I don't smell cherry at all. I don't detect it. It may come out when I melt it. Oh, that's right. This one doesn't have one. Do I have an extra Swiss tie here? I normally do. No, I don't. Okay. So this one I'm putting over here because I will be melting that one today. Um, next is, everyone's, people, some people who are sending me, um, packages, they're like, did you get your package, did you get your package? I'm like, no. I got four package to, packages today, and one package that I should have gotten, I didn't get, and it was a large flat rate box. But I got four other, I got medium to regional A's, and I did not get this large flat rate box. I feel so bad. She's like, you should have gotten yours, so and so-and-so got hers. I'm like... I don't know what to tell you. I don't have it. I'm going to have my son go out to the mailbox when he comes home and check, but I don't know what the deal is. Oh, I don't, I didn't tell you what this guy's, what this was yet, guys, because I don't know. But this is a six pack. An orange cotton candy. How cool is that? That's awesome. Christy, this deep dash is amazing. Oh my god, I can't wait to post this in the group. This is awesome. This is a really interesting, I was going to say weird. I hate when I say, I, when I say weird, you guys, I don't mean weird like ew weird. I mean like cool weird. Like this is a, oh, such a mess. Definitely get the orange. It smells kind of like an orange juice, like freshly squeezed orange juice. It's really cool. And then the cotton candy sweetness behind it. Oh my God, this is so unusual. I love it. I love it. I don't know if I'm going to share any of this one, guys. I love orange, like I said, especially like when I'm sick and I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling, you know, the oranges, the lemons, the limes, the grapefruits. Oh, my God. I just, I melt those because they're very zesty and, in, and invigorating. Um, next is Nana's, Nana's Banana Cookies. It could be Nana, but that's how I spell. Carson calls me Nana, and that's how we spell it. So I'm going to say Nana is banana cookie. Um, and I love banana scents. I love them. Oh, my God. And this is a six pack. Christy, I'm like in awe. You must have LCT up the wazoo. So good. Whenever I get a really good banana, I'm like, wow. Oh, so good. This is just fresh banana, not that icky candy banana scent. Oh, so awesome. And, um, because some people have banana, but it's like that icky, like, banana runt candy scent. And some people like that, but I personally, I don't. I like nice, fresh banana stuff. This just amazing. Um, this is buttery caramel. Now, this is going to smell different. I'm going to tell you right straight off. I already know. Than the brown sugar pecan. The brown sugar pecan to me smells like caramel. I don't know why. It's just that to me is what caramel should smell like. And then when people do actual caramel, I'm like, this isn't caramel. Like I'm telling them, this isn't caramel. It is caramel, but um, yeah. See, um, I smell buttery. I don't really smell caramel, and and caramel to me is like ooey gooey, super sweet, sickeningly, you know, almost sickeningly sweet caramel. And it's not how, what I'm smelling. I mean, I, I, I am, but I'm mostly smelling like a buttery bakery. 
I can catch little hints of caramel there, but I don't know. I mean, caramel, I get, you know, cross between caramel, butterscotch, pralines, and the, and the brown sugars and all that other stuff. They all kind of smell. To me, they, that smells more ooey-gooey caramel, but it's really good, though. It's an awesome, nice, buttery, oh, buttery goodness. I love it. I love it. I'm loving this deep dash. I'm loving. I gotta try to hurry up. There's four more bags, guys. So, this is a six pack in vanilla custard zucchini bun. So, there. my phone's going off. I feel so bad. She's like, I've been waiting forever for this package from from a friend of mine. And she's like, so and so got hers. Why didn't you get hers? And I'm like, I don't, you're asking me? I don't know. This is really good. What is this? Vanilla custard zucchini bread. This just kind of smells like a nice, nice zucchini bread with, like, vanilla in it. You know what I'm saying? Nice creamy vanilla. Good too. This is really good. I I'm in LCP heaven right now. I really am. We we're trying to decide. I, I left a message for Marin today to if um to, we have my son's chorus concert tonight, which of course is like all yucky and gross. Um, and I can't. And I know he can't. He has to take them, but we had to go. I had to hem his pants last night. You guys, what a joke. I use that um that iron stick tape, you know what I mean? Like you iron it, iron a hem or whatever. I can't so. Um let's see. This is caramel drizzled zucchini bread. So she is known for her zucchini bread, I'll let you guys know. Um Cynthia from um LCT. This is really nice too. A lot of these smell the same, I'm going to be honest with you, like the zucchini breads, unless they're fruity, they, they do smell the same, but they're really good, so, you know, um, they're just really nice bakery scents, but they do, a lot of them smell the same. So a lot of these, these zucchini breads, I made like the vanilla custard and the caramel drizzle, they kind of smell the same. Um, and here's Nana's zucchini bread. Nana's zucchini bread. So, this is supposed to be, I think, just a plain up zucchini bread. I know, like, how Haley, Haley's Heavenly uses Grandma's, whatever, and and that's supposed to be, like, the best blend. With LCP, it's Nana's. If it's, if it's Mark Nana's, that's usually the best. Um, this is nice. This is straight up zucchini bread. I actually, I actually like zucchini bread when I can smell zucchini bread, like, when I can smell zucchini. And this is not... You know, I, I can't, I'm not going to say I can really smell zucchini in this one, but it's nice. It's a nice, oh, I can, I can smell it. It's just, it's just not, there was one person who had, who had, who had a zucchini bread where I could like actually smell the zucchini. Like I was like, wow, love it. It was really good. Um, but again, just really, really nice bakery scent. That's what. If you guys love bakery, LCT is for you. Um, oh, I found the ribbon to the to the other one, the fruit burst or whatever that I'm melt I'm gonna melt today. Um, and this last one, the last one, guys, is in berry buttercream pops. Come on, there we go, berry buttercream pops. Oh, no scent description. Um, I'm not a huge buttercream person. This is a six pack too. But this is nice because it's berry. This is really good. Like straight up buttercream, don't love. Oh, she has banana foster. I'm just looking at her scent list now. I always do that. Sorry. Oh, I got black blackberry jam butter cookies too. It's to die for also. Oh my god. 
so good. Her scents really are phenomenal. They really, really are. Oh, well, guys, let me tell you. This is insane. Um, Christy, thank you so much. This was one of the most amazing bee stashes I've ever received. It was really, like, unbelievably six-pack, 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 six-pack. Unbelievably generous. Um, thank you so much. I don't want to make this video too, too long, but thank you so much. I will so purchase these sashes from you again. Like, heartbeat, not an issue. Um, oh my god, so good. And I have so much to share, so much LCP to share. I'm so excited. So you guys, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, because, and watch Sarah Baker. Look up Sarah Baker. Watch her prize winnings. Um, subscribe. Get notification of my, of my, um, videos, because after the first of the year, like I said, I'm doing another giveaway, guys. I just, I, I got to, I got to, I got way too much way. I just got to, and I'd rather just give it away than sell it. So, anyway, um, that's it. So, thank you, Christy. Awesome D-Stash. Awesome D-Stasher. Excellent. Love it. Thank you. Bye, guys.